Alright guys, welcome back to Lock Palm. This is the shelter on the 10th tee box. Having a little bit of a wait here. So, caddies are compulsory here. If you play golf, you're considered to be a wealthy person, so you will provide employment. So, what's a good caddy and what's a bad caddy? Well, a good caddy will park you in the shade. A good caddy will make sure that you drink enough. And you do need to drink three litres as a bare minimum round here. I mean, unsaturated, so you've got to put that back in. Preferably get some salt in or... Um, What's the word? I'll remember the word in a minute. But you've got to get electrolytes and salt back into you and you've got to get liquid back into you. Also a good caddy when you come to a short par 4 will say 3 wood or 5 wood or your hybrid or just to give yourself a full shot in. And you've seen that if I don't have a full shot in I kind of like make a pig's ear of it because the interaction between the club and the turf is different here than to at home. A bad caddy parks you in the sun bad caddy doesn't care whether you drink enough or not and the bad caddy brings a driver to every tee and if you allow yourself to be led by the nose by a caddy you will hit that driver and you'll hit it poorly because there's too many hazards down there to hit driver you'll walk off the hole with a double bogey or worse and you'll hate yourself for not saying to the caddy go get me five wood so be the leader not the follower the reason why this course is so short is because this used to be a long par 4 dog leg right and the 18th was a long par 5 dog leg left. I don't like what they've done with 18 but I do like this hole. Wow, good ah! It's not long enough. Oh. You want play with us? We are free, sir. Yeah, I'm easy. Okay, okay come. Hey! Let's bid me don't. All the way out there. Yeah. Good one. I think good one. Go, go, go. Still rolling. Still rolling. Still rolling. Wow. Three hole and a little bit of more I think two and a half. I think par now. Okay, par. Give. <laughs> Nice body! Oh. Yeah. Give! I meet body every hole. That was good! Go! Go! Okay! okay. Good job. Again. Maybe. Every home. Every home bird. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> One of the hard parts Bogey. of playing golf in Thailand is what you see on the green okay. is not what you get because of the grain. You know, it's hard enough figuring out into the grain and down the grain, but with a side grain, Oh, you're aiming here. somewhere completely alien to where your brain is telling you the putt oh. goes. It's very down. difficult. Yeah. I've just been told to hit it dead straight down here and um, I think Minnie is a caddy who doesn't like to be let down. Good job. Tom, Tom. Tom, Tom. That is <laughs> One of the issues of playing with short hitters and golf carts is they can play their second shot before you do, they can play their third shot before you do and you just end up being miles behind the play and then you start playing poorly. 
on occasion they'll leave the green and get in the golf cart and charge off to the next tee before you've even putted so the next few holes there's some serious mistakes because I feel so far out of my comfort zone. Yeah, one shot. Up. Bogey. Bloody par five bogey. I absolutely love this hole. The water down the right. Just got to boom the three wood. I needed a little break for a drink and some ice and get myself washed down. So I'm behind the play already. There you go, into the golf carts and off they charge and I haven't even put it out. But that's not because they're short hitters, that's because they are incredibly rude. Just wait till the next tee. Alright guys, so not going so well in places. I joined by a couple of guys on the 10th tee and uh, they want to play very, very quickly. The daft thing is, is the quicker you play, the more you wait. You're better off playing slowly and keeping it at a steady pace rather than play quickly and then wait. Such is life. Anyway, par three next, signature hole. I have no idea what to hit off this tee. Thank goodness I got a caddy. Oh, just look at this. I thought we were playing together. So I got a long putt, downhill, down grain, they're trying to work out the borrow and they're arguing over what's a gimme and what isn't a gimme. As I said, just incredibly rude, you can't even shut up while I'm putting. Think about putter? Maybe half, okay, I'm fast. Yeah. 
That's okay. Right edge? I think. Yeah, I think so too. Nice car. Good car. Mr. Pa. Mr. Pa. That's better. Well, this is a strong hole. I enjoyed it every time I played it. Maybe 50 50. 70 30. 70 30. <laughs> Left a little bit. Hit, hit. Okay. okay. Well, when we got to the green, I could see why Minnie was saying sit. Oh, was within a few yeah. yards of uh, going down a chasm and into water. I think this putt probably describes Ty Green's best. Thank you. Without you, I'd be down there. <laughs> Very long wait here. The two guys that I was semi playing golf with just cleared off. Minnie brought me five iron, five wood, and driver, and after a long wait, we settled on five wood. Oh dear. So we've had a reasonable guess at where I crossed the hazard. I've dropped two club lengths to the left and playing in. Minnie wouldn't let me go down there because of snakes. But she did actually come up with my ball. So she saved me a few bob there. Well, I played this course three times so I played this hole three times and I never really did crack it or feel oh, yeah. comfortable I'm not sure what it was like as a par 5 a little bit left probably a end up okay. hitting the same kind of second shot and same yeah, kind of third good. shot let's hope I can do as I'm told with this putt Thank you very much. Thank you. Now for a shower. <laughs> 